Hey, just a quick little did you know video today. Now previously I've done a video talking about how you can use the debug package. So if you do an npm install of debug, it means that you can run the code require debug and then pass in a variable name. So this will be the env debug variable that you pass in when you run your app. And then you can do conditional comments within your code. So writing out the messages sort of like a console log and debug will only do it if you pass in this environment variable. Okay, so we can also use the built-in one. So Node itself comes with a debug type console log package. Inside of the util module, there is a function called debug log. So if you import that from the util package, then we can say debug log app this is going to be my debug message. Now, if I just run my code, here we go, uh, there we go, run that. Yep, there's the console log running. But if I do the version of this where I'm passing in node debug, I'm setting that environment variable to app, which is the string that I have here, and then running my app. Now I'm going to get these messages right here. So I run it, there we go, and this is my app message is running. Just a message from the debugger, that's this one. And you can do the same sort of formatting that you would inside of console log. So I'm taking the number passed in and writing that out inside of here. This number that you get right here, this is just the process ID for this version of Node or this instance of Node that's running right here. Now, pretty much the same thing. It is missing the colorizing. So if the color is something that you really like if you're doing a lot of different debug messages and you've got a bunch of different environment variables and you're doing debug log for app and one for let's say your middleware and a different one for your database connection and so on if you want to use the color coding for that then use the one right here that you install so npm install debug you can do that if the color coding is not something that you care about or if you're just doing a real simple little small app the built-in package is going to do just fine for you. So I hope that helps you out. Uh, and as always, thanks for watching.